Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and Aussies of all ages, I had the greatest idea last night. I'm getting ready to go, so bear with me. But I had this awesome idea. So there are thousands upon thousands of videos out there saying the earth is flat, um, Australia doesn't exist. Well, I happen to be at a conference with a bunch of people from Australia, or claiming to be from Australia. How fun would it be if I interviewed them? So that's what I'm going to try to do. So, uh, yeah, I got to go. My, uh, I think my Uber is here. My phone was blowing up a second ago, so I better go. But I'm hoping to get some clips after this of Aussies or actors claiming to be from Australia. So stay tuned. I hope you enjoy. I really hope it goes well. Maybe I'll buy him a drink. Oh, it's free beer at the conference. I'll just give him a beer and tell him to talk. There's my phone again. Bye. Guys, I found two Australians. I totally believe they are Australian. Mainly because they were very apprehensive of me because I'm from America, but they were still nice enough to tell me how to eat Vegemite without me asking. So I've got... And that we don't ride kangaroos. And they don't ride kangaroos, no. So anyone who thinks that there are, is no such thing as a kangaroo, which is another theory up there. So what we're talking about is whether Australia <laughs> exists. And I can't believe in 2018 we have to have this. So what was your name? Mark. Mark and? And James. And James. Okay, so I'm going to get these guys here together. So are you actually from Australia? Yes or no? Yes, yes so we are. we're from Australia. from Australia. Are you actors? No. no. Um, you have to prove it, so I want you to pretend to be sad. So pretend to be sad. See, that, that was bad acting. You know they're not actors. Exactly. <laughs> um, how long a flight did you have to take to get here to Texas? To Texas probably took about 15, 16 hours. 15, 16 hours? 22 hours with transit. Oh, with transit probably longer, but direct, a, direct from um, Melbourne to Houston was about 16 hours. Okay. Do you have a message for people that believe that your country and your people don't exist? Well, I reckon um, they should just see for themselves and have the chance to visit. We do exist. We're great people. Uh, look, I mean, there are uptight people there, but a lot of us are pretty friendly and down to Maybe so. they should step out of their shell, yeah. buy a ticket and fly to Melbourne. Exactly. You have two standing invitations to go to Australia today. Look but they're if you're willing to come all the way, hook me up. I'll, I'll give you a tour around. Yeah, we'll go, to, go for a beer somewhere. Why not? Awesome. You can see penguins. Yeah. And no, we don't have kangaroos can, in our backyard. We don't, yeah, we don't ride kangaroos, but I can actually take you to kangaroos. And crocodiles if you like, but uh, you, probably don't wanna, you probably don't want to see that. All right. Mark, James, thanks, guys. <laughs> it's the most ridiculous argument, but it's legitimately blowing up. So thanks, guys. Take care. That's a donut wall. Oh. I think that might be the least effective method of stacking donuts. I think I gotta go find me. I gotta go find me someone from Australia. Just wanted to point out the donut wall. Got an interview real quick. Uh, first, what's your name? Justin Burrell. Justin Burrell. Is the Earth flat? No. How do you know? I've been in a plane. Okay. Are Australians real? Yes, I've seen them. They're here. <laughs> I did too. I saw them here. <laughs> If you had to provide one scientific piece of evidence why the Earth isn't flat, because it's not, um, sorry, bad journalism, what would that be? Uh, you can see the curvature. <laughs> I've seen the pictures from space. I've been up in the plates. You can see the curve. And the, the whole reason the sun kind of goes down the way it does. Follow-up question. What about the fact that the space program's a lie and no one's ever been to space? Yeah, that's also not true. Uh, if the world was flat and the sun set on one side, then how is it light on the other side already? Does it just kind of reset back over immediately? Or That's Justin. I like Justin. <laughs> Thanks. How to change a song. Take a fast song, add an annoying, obnoxious bass line to it.
the song was already annoying. They just sped it up. Go down an escalator and automatically start thinking a whole new world. We can't be friends. You know what? I'm going to do this escalator again and sing it now. Webinars or uh, online content? I'm doing this just because I, I see it's a deficiency in myself. I don't really have an end goal with it. Self-improvement. Like it. Self-improvement. Okay. It. I'm John. This is... April. And Jason. Okay. Where are you guys from? Seattle, Washington. Heard of that? <laughs> Fort Lee, New Jersey. Heard of that too. That's because not even close. <laughs> you know, I just heard of New Jersey. I've never heard of Fort Lee. I'm from, I'm from Kansas. We don't know anything outside of Nebraska, Oklahoma, whatever. So why are you here? To meet people like you and you and to network. Yep. <laughs> um, my third dad at Con found great value in it the last couple times. Uh, meet great vendors, meet great partners, uh, learn about improving business and making myself a more effective uh, owner. How far away has someone lived and you met them here? Like, what's the furthest away you've met somebody? I think for me it was uh, New Zealand. I think for me it was Australia. Australia? Yeah. South Africa, Australia, yeah. yeah. On that note, what do you say to the, to the idea or the fact that Australia doesn't exist? <laughs> it definitely exists. It, it most assuredly <laughs> exists. So that's a good segue. Is the earth round or flat? Round. Uh, I'm gonna go with round. Okay. <laughs> what proof do you have? NASA. <laughs> okay. well, that's, a, that, that's a good one. Um, but uh, great circles of navigation. So when you fly somewhere or you take uh, a boat, you actually are going in an indirect route because you're following the curvature of the Earth. No judgment, his answer was a little bit better. Because <laughs> the theorists will say that NASA and the space program is a lie and it's all done on wires. So why do you think people think the Earth is flat? Because they're idiots. I love you so much. If I wasn't married, I'm telling you. Um, some people need to be shown things and uh, there's really no way, unless they were to go up into a, an airplane really, really high and see the earth curves or to go into space themselves so it's it probably boils down to ignorance which is like the same answer as they're idiots so you heard it here first jason wants to send all flat earthers to space i'm on okay. board thank you guys for your time thank i don't you. want them to come back interview skills i am here at datocon with jason king sorry what's your name sir uh, jason king okay why are you here in texas uh to get a feel for the Dado world. Okay. Uh, we're only very new into to Dado. We've been with Autotask for a long time, but uh, okay. Dado and getting excited about the networking products okay. uh, and, and their backup world. So. Are, you, uh, are you the owner or are you one of the uh, employees? No, I'm an uh, employee. I'm um, national, uh, national technical manager. Oh, okay. So ju just moved into that role. So getting an idea of what, what's out there and how we can sort of move forward from a technical aspect. Okay. Would you say in your company you are one of the smartest people working? Oh. No, definitely not. Do you think you're smarter than someone who doesn't work at your company then? Oh, I, 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 we, I've surrounded, I've got a, a, a very smart team around me. Oh, okay. Um, is, is more what I'm saying. So intelligence in, osmosis is what you're going for. Yes, basically. I mean, <laughs> what they say, em, employ people who are smarter than you yep. and, um, mm -hmm. and, and that lets you focus on other parts of the business. So, so now for the, the, the weird, serious question. Where do you really come from since Australia doesn't exist, according to some people? <laughs> um, yeah, <laughs> Asia-ish. Uh. <laughs> Is the earth round or flat? That's the big question on the internet. Definitely round. Definitely round. How, what do you say to people who say that you're an actor and that all Australians are just actors? Um, I feel sorry for the world of acting. So we're gonna, I'm going to prove that you're, see if you are an actor. So I'm going to give you an emotion, you're going to act it. Are you ready? Right. Act scared. Horrible. That was horrible. Not an actor. Not an actor at all. All right. Well, Jason, hey, thank you for your time. Thank you very much. Um, do you have anything you want to say to people who think the earth is flat? Uh, it's round. <laughs> Thanks so much, man. <laughs> Thanks. Thank you, Datocon 2018. I'm John, and what's your name, man? Maureen. Morning. Morning. Nice to meet you. What brings you here to Datacon? What do you want to get out of it? 
Um, I came because I like being able to talk to other people that are um, that are using the same product as me and see how they solve problems. Um, and you talk about the successes that you've had with um, your own installation and what works and what doesn't work. Do you think that you're going to be more profitable as a business having come here and interface with all these other people? I don't know that I think it makes us more profitable. I think it gives us better control of our business. Okay, that's fair. So I'm going to ask some silly questions now. Um, what's the last thing that you ate that tickled as you swallowed it? I don't know. Um, can't think. Have you ever eaten octopus? No. No. Okay. That would be a good one to add to the list. Um, is the earth round or flat? Oh, it's round. That's a big debate online. Are you sure that it is a I'm round planet? I'm sure that it's round. Now, you're from Canada. I'm from Kansas. They sound the same and we're pretty much the same people. Not really. Kind of, sort of. Well, I mean, a little bit different. Depends actually. who you ask. I mean, you guys have much better food and better manners. But, um, and we say sorry a lot. You do. You do. I say, did it. We I, say a boot. <laughs> I had a Canadian yell at me the other night, actually. I got drug into the international reception by someone who was drunk, and they pulled me up to the bar, and I was getting a drink, and another uh, person from Canada informed me very not so politely I wasn't supposed to be there because I was from the United States. So I took my drink, gave it to an Australian, and I left before I got my, my butt well, was kicked by rude. a Canuck. That's all right. You think you look like you want to say sorry just for that happening? Yeah, well, you know, sorry. We shouldn't have been like that. I love her. So what? Um, what proof do you have that the Earth is not flat? If the Earth was flat, cats would have knocked everything off by now. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Well, thank you. Am I saying it right, Maureen? Maureen. Yep. Thank you, Maureen, for your time. You enjoy the. Put it out there and have people give me feedback on my interview. Is that okay? I'm a Canadian French. I don't talk too much English. No, no, that's okay. Are, are you originally from from uh, the French part of Canada? Yeah. Okay. Well, I'm originally from Quebec. Quebec. Okay. Well, I'm not from anywhere near there. I'll do my best to understand you, but if, if I don't, I'll just skip it. Okay. I'm John. Nice to meet you, sir. Nice to meet you too. What's your name? Alan. Alan. What brings you to Texas? The the MSP. We, we try to, to uh, we are, originally we are a brick and fix shop, mm -hmm. we try to move to MSP. Hey, that's what we're doing. We're just starting with that. Well, best of luck in that. That's great. It's, it's exciting, isn't it? It's really exciting. So what is the last time you ate something, spilled something on your shirt, and didn't realize it until much later? Last time? Yesterday. Yesterday? Yesterday. Do you remember what it was you spilled, and were you embarrassed humus. about it? Humus. 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 Yeah. Yeah. yeah, okay. Uh -huh. Um, is the earth round or flat? Round. How do you know that it's round? <laughs> I see it. You see it? Yeah. So there are a lot of people that think it's not. A lot of people think it's co just a, a saucer plate. What would you say to someone who thinks that the earth is flat? Last question. Pardon me, can you be repeat that question? What would you say to someone who thinks that it's flat? Ah. Uh, <laughs> I, I, I would say uh, go to the internet and uh, find, find something about the earth. Yeah. Perfect. Well, th Alan, thanks so much for your time, man. Thank you. I appreciate it. Hey, best of luck. Painted this week. In the last two days, they painted it. Like they've been working on it while we've been here. And aside from the little monkey guy's eyes, which are weird, I think it looks pretty cool. They're going to be It's a silly thing, just a bunch of silly questions. So first, I'm John, and what's your name, sir? My name is Joost. Joost. Yes. I like that name. Thank Where you. are you from? I'm from the Netherlands. Netherlands. I've heard of it. I'm from Kansas, so we don't know anything about geography. So I just know it's out there. <laughs> All right. Um, what it's brings? <laughs> I got gotcha. you. <laughs> what is? Uh, what brings you to Texas? Uh, well, the datacon, of course. Um, because we are a user of uh, Autotask for five years now, four years now, and uh, we uh, want to know what's what's new, okay. what's coming up. Yeah. Silly question time. When's the last time you ate something, swallowed it, and it tickled your throat as it went down? I don't know. I really don't know. When's the last time you ate something and it spilled on your shirt and you didn't find out until later? Um, 
I guess that would be two months ago. Two, you, that's a good memory. Yeah. If you're, I just had new pants and it dropped on my pants. So. Speaking of pants, if your zipper was down, would you expect your friends to tell you about it? And no, would you be mad if no, they didn't? No, I, I know they don't tell me about it. <laughs> Is the earth round or flat? Round. How do you know? <laughs> <laughs> I've never seen it round again, but when I'm in the airplane, I see a small bow. I don't mm -hmm. know how to... Cur the curve. Yeah, the curve. curve. Yeah, okay. All right, yeah. So, how do you respond to people who think Australia doesn't exist and all Australians are actors? Which is a legitimate theory going around the internet. All right. I think they're stupid. Okay. Yeah. I agree with you. <laughs> okay. Well, Ghost, thank you. Thanks for that. All right. That's silly. I can show you the world, shining, shimmering, splendid. Conference is almost over. We're going to go see if we want any gifts and listen to Sir Richard Branson talk. My phone's about dead, so I think interviews are over. They went pretty well. We got some good people. And her. She's my coworker. She was not excited. We're going to do a little interview. Um, yeah, yeah. What's your name, sir? Aaron. Paul. Aaron, and your name, sir? Uh, Greg Jones. Okay, where are you from? I'm from Brisbane, Australia. Australia? Liverpool, England. Liverpool, England. I've heard of both of them. I'm from Kansas. Uh, we'll start basic. What are you doing here in Texas? Datacon 18. Datacon 18. <laughs> what do you want to get out of it? Um, well, I always come. I don't really know what I'm looking for. Just to, uh, there's always magic around when you put this many smart people in the same place, right? True. Uh, just to add value to our organisation, learn from the likes of Aaron and some of the teams that are out there, some great MSBs in the world, just coming together and sharing ideas. I agree that it's the smart, probably the smartest people in one building in all of Texas, period. End of story. Now for a question about how dumb people are. Is the earth round? Look, there's a lot of evidence. I'm, I'm in existence of the fact that Australia doesn't exist. It's true. <laughs> I love you so much. It actually doesn't exist. How about you? Is, is the earth round or flat? Personally, on my limited knowledge, I'd say round. Well, okay. So the theory right now going around that's come back from, I think, mid-1900s is that Australia is not real, as well as Finland, and that all Australians are actors. So what is your actual stage name then, since uh, Australia doesn't exist? Well, actually, my name's Johnny. <laughs> I'm not that. Um, if you had to provide one sentence to someone who was a flat earther that was not, there was or was not inappropriate, what would it be if you knew it was going to get to, so, to one flat earther who thinks that you as a person don't exist and thinks that you are full of crap that you've never flown over an ocean? Look, if you see my kitten, can you bring it home, please? I have no idea on this one. This is kind of random. Have you ever, have you heard of the Flat Earth Society? Yeah. You realize that their members circumvent the globe. Like they have members all over the world. Except in Australia, apparently. Have, you have heard of it. I have heard of it. I've okay. It. But you're not a believer. But Aaron is. Well, thanks for your time, guys. I appreciate it. For your time, I'll buy you a drink at the bar. How about that? Buy me a free drink? I'll buy you a drink at the bar. <laughs> So walking through down, uh, down in Austin, there's a sign, it says all kinds of stuff, Kurt Vile, S. Kalalus, now, whatever, it says all this stuff. I'm not going to say it all because I'm pretty sure it's a mantra to summon a demon. 
is right behind it. What in the fuck is that? I don't know if it's art or if someone pissed off the owners of the restaurant next door. Like maybe it's the curse of the tango and the ballet. Maybe he was a tango dancer and she was a ballerina, but it's creepy. Well, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. The earth may be round. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, conference is over. A couple final thoughts on it. Let me go sit down. Let's get my thinking cap on. Oh, my thinking cap's packed. Hmm. Okay. Sit on my thinking pillow. This it's really hard right there, so. Ugh. Oh yeah. What the fuck is that? Okay. My thoughts on the conference. One, just because it's Texas doesn't mean you have to make it so damn cold in every room. It's like 79 degrees out outside. I'm pretty sure they have the the AC set to like 52 something thought number two oh, I'm gonna lay down a little bit more for this this is my sexy pose mm. oh speaking of hair thought number two my hair does this number when I wear a hat there are people a lot of people a lot of people at this IT conference that um, they do comb overs on purpose like they, they part it at their widow's peak, which is that spot right there. I'm gonna try to have really deep widow's peaks. That's fine. I've had really deep widow's peaks since I was a little kid, but now that I'm going bald, it gets a lot worse. But they part it over at that widow's peak, whether it's a full comb over or not. There were so many parts in their hair like this, and it wasn't from hat hair, because I think I was one of like two people wearing hats at the entire conference. Oh, that doesn't look bad. Hmm. Well, that's why they do it, but there was a lot of it. Also, some weird-ass spiky hair. Like, there were people 40, not 40, 20 years older than me, totally white hair, and they had it cut short and spiked straight up. Saw a few people like that, so uh, that was a little weird. Uh, next thought, urinals. Let's talk urinals. So a urinal, in case women don't know, or men who squat to pee don't know, it's a little device that's like a toilet built into the wall that boys and men can pee into one at a time. That's a rule. Um, and no looking. Don't look. Um, but they can pee into it and they don't have to worry about it going to a full toilet. It's not made for number two. It's not made to throw up into. It's just made for number one. Well, the urinals here I don't know what the deal was, but it's like, I always wonder, is there an engineer in the world who could tackle the problem of splashback? See, when men pee, it's like a hose going That's the best thing I can say, but it doesn't actually die down. It just keeps going. Put it back. <laughs> um, but it seems like no matter the design of the urinal, there's always splash on the ground. Um, same with some toilets, actually. Um, I'm pretty sure the urinals at the Fairmont in Austin are designed to get maximum splash back. Like, I don't think it would be any worse if they were to just put a piece of plexiglass in front of the urinal and have you pee onto that and let it just slowly drip down. Kind of like a, a sneeze guard on a salad buffet, but the bottom edge is inside the lip of the urinal. It was bad. And it didn't matter where you aimed. Like, one thing that guys will do, women, you may not know this, when a guy is using their urinal, what they'll do, what we'll do is we'll do a test fire. It's like making sure that uh, the range is clear so that we can shoot the sniper. We'll kind of ease up on the pressure a little bit and kind of just swirl it around looking for uh, the place of least splash, splashback, either on our pants, or on the ground, whatever. Um, I test fired 
like 15 times over the course of this conference. Um, no matter where it went, there was still a lot of splashbacks. So, yeah, bad urinals. Uh, the hotel was really nice. There was a lot of food. Oh, oh my God, so much food. Did you see the stupid donut wall? I hope I got a clip of that. They had donuts on pegs into a wall, and then they had a table with them stacked over there, like off to the side. That is the least efficient way to stack donuts. And it was so wasteful. I really hope that, I was told yesterday by one, a member of the staff that they're donating their food to a program that feeds the homeless. And I really hope that's the case because I felt like such a piece of shit watching them cart off. Like we had tort, uh, fajitas or some, yeah, something like fajitas today at lunch. They had these bowls probably about that deep with tortillas in them. I literally saw wait staff come over. It was like half full of tortillas, this little bowl. He took it away, put a new bowl on and then took off the, with the old tortillas. Maybe they're taking them home to their family. I don't know. I hope that they didn't just get thrown away. I hope they go to someone to eat who wants them because that was really, really bad. I did get to see um, Sir Richard Branson talk. He was the keynote speaker at the end of the day today. Very interesting fellow. Um, so I'm going to end it with this. And this is serious because I sat up and messed up my hair. Um, so Richard Branson's worth millions, billions of dollars. I don't know how much he's worth. He's got a couple hundred companies throughout the world. Very successful. At one point, he said he made some joke, and I won't repeat it, but it was uh, some question about what would he change about his life or something. And he said, I won't tell you that he said something about his wife would give him a one-day pass. Everyone thought it was funny. <laughs> He very, seems like a very sincerely nice guy. Here's the deal. After, the, after a point where he was speaking, and I think that was it right there, he had a, no, it was early on, sorry. At one point, he had a bottle of water that he had brought out. I don't know what kind it was, but it was a fancy bottle of water, whatever. There were two cups next to him. The moderator and him were talking. While the moderator was speaking, Sir Branson opened, get out of here, Facebook, opened his bottle of water, poured it into the cup next to him. Then he reached over, grabbed the other guy's cup, filled it up with a little bit more water, and then kept that cup right next to him and slid the one he had just filled up over. He didn't only fill up the other guy's cup first. He's like, yeah, you can just have my cup. And it might be a, might be a minor thing, but after hearing him speak, I really truly believe he's a very caring person. Um, talk, he was asked questions about his success, secret to his success, and he, oh, and he talked a lot about humility, how uh, you need to be, be humble to be successful, he believes, and you know, right place, right time, you have to fail a lot to be successful. Probably a lot of stuff you'll read, you would read in his book or see in other interviews. But at the very end, the last question he was asked is, are you happy? Given all the success you've had in your business and financially, are you happy? And this was right after he made the joke about his wife giving him a one-time pass. So, of course, he backtracked, talked about how lucky he is to have his wife. But he didn't talk once about his business or his profits or his financial well-being. He talked over and over about his family, his kids, his wife, his good friends, the people he surrounds himself with, the things he gets to do for other people because he's very philanthropic. And it made me think maybe I'm not so far off from him. Um, he likes to make inappropriate jokes. That's me. But he's more focused on people around him. He's more focused on, let's make sure this guy who's asking me a question has, has a drink of water two seconds before I have one. Does it matter? No. But he filled, he, it was the most beautiful thing I've ever seen that I'm 90% I'm sure was unintentional. He filled up the glass, reached for the other one, filled that one up, and the second glass that he grabbed and he scooted his over, he drank out of. Maybe the whole do something nice for a stranger, be good to people, is not such a cheesy mantra to have about life. But, I don't know. 
Okay, I had a good time at DadoCon. I hope you enjoyed the interviews. Oh, I had so much fun with those interviews. Oh my God. Oh man, I hope if someone sees those and uh, is upset about that, I wonder what can, will I get in trouble? I did tell people I was practicing my interview skills and I was gonna record it so others could watch it and give me feedback. So feel free to give me feedback in the comments below. But thanks for watching this and the other videos, I appreciate it. Uh, you guys take care and let's take a page out of Sir Branson's book. Do something nice for someone tomorrow. Now let's take a page out of my book. As always, stay moist.